Welcome, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. I will be your host this evening. Today, we're going to be focusing on setting up a CentOS 7 install on top of VirtualBox on Windows. To do that, go to VirtualBox and download the particular VirtualBox client for your host machine. Then you need to grab the CentOS 7 ISO minimal install. Key point is it's a minimal install. The CentOS 7 is only compatible with 64-bit, so if you need a 32-bit install, make sure you grab CentOS 6. Also note that CentOS 6 is different from CentOS 7, so the, insula or the installation procedure may be a little different. There's my minimal ISO file. I'm going to set up a VirtualBox client, call it CentOS, base it off of Red Hat 64-bit Linux, give it 512 megabytes of RAM, and give it 8 gigabyte drive. I'm also going to leave the default image type and get, uh, set it to dynamically allocated. If you want it to be faster, set it to fixed size. Go into your machine settings and point the DVD drive uh, to the particular ISO file that you downloaded in the previous step. Then go ahead and start the machine. It's going to boot to the CentOS 7 Live CD. Click Install CentOS 7. I'm going to, and I'm going to speed up the loading screen so we get right to the GUI. I'm just going to choose a basic English install with uh, the time zone to be Eastern. English keyboard, English language, of course. The security policy is going to be the standard system security profile. The installation source is going to be from local media, and the source selection is going to be minimal install. Installation destination would be where you allocate your partitions. If you want to do that yourself, I'm just going to choose automatically configure partitioning to keep it easy. After that, check any more settings. Everything looks good, so go ahead and begin installation. While it's installing, you can create a user account and also set the root password. I'm going to choose Linux just to keep it easy. Note that if this is your personal desktop for your personal use, make sure you choose something that's more secure than just Linux, because anybody can guess that. For my user creation, I'm going to create a user called test user. I'm going to make him an administrator, and I'm going to give him a password of Linux. While I'm doing this, I just want to make a few notes. CentOS 7, minimal install does not have a GUI, and it does not have any bloat that you normally would get on a Windows 7 install, so it's base minimal package. After it's done, done installing, go ahead and reboot and remove the DVD from the DVD drive of the VirtualBox machine. I did mine first, and it seemed to freeze, uh, so you might want to click reboot and then take the DVD out afterwards. Uh, did not affect any installation on my side. When you install, you're going to be dumped into the CLI mode for a login, and we're going to be doing some command line tricks here, so go ahead and log in with your user account. The first thing that you have to do is you have to get the network running because the network is not automatically going to load on boot. When you log in, go to cd slash etc slash sysconfig slash network scripts and go ahead into a per this particular Network adapter, it's going to be different because that uh, name is randomly generated. But uh, go into the file using v, just set on boot equal to yes, colon wq out to save the file and reboot. So the network drive or the network adapter will, will boot. Log again, log in again with your test user account. This is where we're going to install basic desktop internet browser, and other desktop features that we need to install the KDE desktop. So these are prerequisites. You can go ahead and grab them in the description below. After this is done installing, we're going to install the KDE desktop using the same sudo yum group install command. This one's just a one-liner, it's not so difficult, so... Just keep in mind if you wanted to use something other than KDE, that 
other than KDE Desktop, this is when you would you would change. Change over to that particular install. Note after the KDE Desktop install uh, completes, the graphical interface will not boot until you tell it to. So this is how you do it. Go to sudo systemctl set default to graphical.target. That'll set the graphical user interface to start on boot. And then if you do a sudo systemctl isolate graphical.target, that will force the GUI to start right now. When the GUI starts, all you have to do is uh, accept the license information and it will boot into the CentOS 7 GUI. And that's it. We're done. We've done a CentOS 7 install with minimal settings. With that, guys, I'm Ron Burgundy. Stay classy, San Diego.